Utah ends up going with the new group. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Kevin Sheriff and he's All playing with John Wall this time. Humphreys comes in for Nene. Martell Webster, he's checked in for Pierce. And John Wall subbed in for Bradley Beal. For the Utah Jazz, they won their last contest, that game against Charlotte. Yeah, it didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like uh, they scored at will. Not much defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game, and actually nearly the entire game, and no matter what unit was out there, looked like a mismatch to me. Uh, That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint. I forgot John the point shot. That's exactly how it's done. Outside wall. Rebound, I got you. Utah. Wait, what? Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that. Ah, excellent. Yeah, oh, you've got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Now, here's Exum. He really played well in that last game against Charlotte. Lock at six. Hood kicks to Exum. And a missed layup. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. All with it. Now Hamilton defending. Oh, what a pass by John Wall. Oh, Two ball. free throws now for him. Martell Webster in the second season of a four-year deal. He signed with the Wolf. Best way to shoot the rock. You already know this. Becomes a valuable asset to him. The offense to me. Oh, yeah, about seven. seven. Pairing up in the backcourt, Trey Burke and Alec Burks. Favors is out That's there a Tyler Tyler and, Hansbrough, and it's Hayward in at the three slot. That's the group right now for Utah. No one near him. It's rebounded by Serafin. Serafin's got his fourth rebound. Yeah, in this how could we not secure the rebound? And while Webster Clark is not great at creating his own shot, he's still effective. Yeah, because he's a great catch and shoot guy. I mean, he's able to knock down those three pointers. If he gets his feet set and a little bit of time and space, He'll make you pay. Here's prime time. Ten points for him. Four on the shot clock. The 15 footer, and that one's good. Good job, boy. Prime time's got the lead up to seven now for Washington. And they're shooting. Really he came starting to pick up I'm making every time. Well, the lead being maintained will not be a problem if they keep shooting the way they have so far. Hansbro dishes to Hayward. Burks sets a screen for Hayward. Oh, nah, Burks. Get that out of here, Burks. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Oh, that's he it to Humphreys. <laughs> that's perfect pass to Humphreys. A what? And Utah the other way now. I was supposed to have been yeah, an easy layup. How did he yeah, melt him? had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. How do you blow an easy layup? Favors passes to Hayward. The dish to Burke. Down low. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut to just five on the basket from Burke. I said it's They that. continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. Here's primetime. Burke covering. Webster passes to primetime. Here's Serafin. Trains it from 17 Boy. feet out. Serafin's got Serafin his third bucket of the night. Second. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Now, here's Burke. D right on him. Kicks to Hansbro. Dishes it to Burks. Now, here's Hayward. Webster covering. I couldn't even get over there. Gets it to go. Well, he knew that with his height I was kind of running off his TV. Wait, on the point guard. How was I not running off his TV? Cantry checked in for Utah. I scored twice there. I got to come in for Washington. Gortat's checked in for Kevin Serafin. Nene comes in for Chris Humphreys. Paul Pierce has checked in for Martel Webster. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Andre Miller. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, thank you, Kevin. There are a lot of questions as to how Dante Exum will develop as a player. He has the skill to be a two-guard, but grew up playing point guard. He would prefer the point, saying that's the position that he's got. That's what I want to be going forward. We'll see if the coaches agree, Kevin. 
We'll see how it plays out. No, no, they don't slot. A slam dunk by favors. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I think some urgency from in there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. Great anticipation and awareness. And of course, he don't tell me. And triggered the fast break. Wow, and now it's just of course a one possession turn game thanks to that quick hitter. Fantastic basketball in the open floor. Here's Gortat. Here's prime time. Utah with the rebound. Of course, got Kate Megalea. Guys, this offense very effective. Going right at him. And, and this is where you just start Sorry about it, man. defense. And, and now you take their confidence away. You can really take control of this game. Here's prime time. He's got 12. Beal with it. And Burks picks him up defensively. Beal, the pass to prime time. And the three ball is good. Prime time. Prime time's got five points now in the quarter. Guys back and forth this first half. The money well, play, boy. Well, I don't own, guys, as we we're going to try back and forth. This could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Oh, I got stuck on him. Hayward against Pierce. Here's Cantor. You know he Gortat made it. comes oh. up with the rebound. Gortat's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Beal Beal gets a wide open make that. He trains the quick shot. Thank you, Bill. And it's a four-point Wizards lead. Jazz have gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. Burke kicks to Favors. He dishes it to Hayward. To the left side wing. To the wing right side. Washington with the rebound. Gortat's got five rebounds tonight. Wizards leading by four. Yeah, boy, time. To play from off target from three-point range. For the Washington Wizards, they come in off the loss to the Trailblazers. They found themselves up against a hot team that night, Kevin, and they just didn't have the manpower defensively. Of course he gets now. You know, guys, I expected a little more fight out of them than what they showed us. They never strung together any stops like they needed to. Talk about being on his game. Look at the numbers for Ennis Canner. He has nine rebounds and eight points. Prime time, the pass to Gortat. The timely screen. Finally, Gortat with an easy way. way. Ran his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. Taking a look here at some numbers for Bradley Beal. Now the second half shaped up for him. He's getting around 12 points a game. Two assists and two rebounds. Looking at those numbers, you'd probably say, yeah, that's about what we'd expect out of him. Which isn't really what any player wants to hear. I mean, you don't want to meet expectations. You want to under-promise and over-deliver. You want to exceed expectations. And maybe we'll start to see him do that just shot. Just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Prime time, the pass to Nene. Here's prime time, Burke covering. Here's prime time, and Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got double digit rebounds now in the game. All alone, and again at two times. That was during the ball, way too much. Here's prime time, 15 points in the game. And the pass to Beal. Here's Pierce. Burke grabs the miss. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. The feed to Hayward. Favors with a screen on Pierce. Here's Burks. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Wizards have gone 7 of 14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. Just a fantastic game for prime time. He has 15 points and two blocks. He's shown some flash with his passing and some grit with his board work. Yeah, that's not a combination too many players. Well, that's awesome. Either, them, guys. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Well, it's good to see him with his free throw percentage up over 80% now. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Here's what Utah is going with right now. 
Gobert, he's checked in for favors. Get that out of here, boy. And it's Exum in for Bring Draper. Me. Passes it to Beal. Here's prime time. Yeah, I think I got a mismatch. I don't know. Nene, the screen. Outside hey, Pierce. Pierce. The truck. Bangs home the trifecta. <laughs> Hello, truck. Pierce has got five points so far. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Canner in the corner. Wide open look. That's good. Wait, hold on. He's what? got 10. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Oh. Here's prime time, and he's <laughs> two points on the layup. And the Wizards lead by five. Wow, and that crossover was too funny. Improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Exum can't guard. Exum kicks to Cantor. Now here's Burks. He's covered by Beal. Burks dishes to Exum. Jazz passing it around. Here's Hood. Are we all on that? Here's Cantor. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Of course they get the second chance. in the quarter. But the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. And Cantor over to help. Nene, Nene. has the open look. No good. He should have went there for the layup, though. Burns the pass to Cantor. Now, here's Exum. Defense right on him. On the top of the key. Rebound by Nene. Nene's got six rebounds oh. now in the game. A lot of And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. I no thought he stole it. Alone would have been Bradley Beal lost Never someone mind off. Never it coming at the end of an alley -oop. Yeah, that just added to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Almost missed Bradley Beal in the fast break. Exum kicks to Gobert. I thought well, he was about to pull it. Pass to Burks. What a fighter. And it's Nene with the That's rebound. All. I Nene's see. He's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And that one's good by Pierce. Boy, he made a nice little ball bounce move. pass. Ball there. We call okay. that pocket pass, and he did it well. Jazz trail by seven. Now, here's Exum. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Hood, the pass to Exum. Exum not scoring on me. He's not getting his first points of the game. Now, here's Burks. He's covered by Beal. From 17 feet out, rebound by Primetime. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Over to the wing. Nene, the pass to Primetime. Ball on the back on that. Post. Beal with another miss. Well, his shot's been off today, no question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to. Right, they should have took that three instead of. Exum's shot is off. Here is Gortat. And no need to rush like, uh, play for one shot. And I think they should wait till about the five second mark to go for it. Here's uh, prime time. Here's the truth wide open from Pains. With nobody on oh, him, he buries the jump. Two. Pierce has got seven now in this quarter. Does he got the point? Halftime. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. It's the Wizards. Up nine. Time for the half and now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, Kevin, I'm here with Paul Pierce. And, Paul, a nice first half coming off a tough loss last game. What do you think has been the biggest change in how this team is executing? Uh, I think we're just moving the ball. We're playing much more relaxed, I think. Uh, we're not turning it over as much. We're getting stops, and we're able to run. Paul, thank you. Kevin, back to you at the tape. Doris rocking the pink shirt. Hey guys, listen up. We've got a good lead, but lots of basketball left to play. Continue to have smart possessions. Let's keep the turnovers to a minimum. That was a big boost to our offense. If there was a real positive to be found, it was in transition. We made some really quick, sharp outlet passes and got some easy buckets on the break. That's where they might be most vulnerable. I think it's time for a healthy dose of pick and roll. That's a bread and butter play for us when we get it going, and we are going to get it going. There better be no backing down. I want to see just as much effort for the rest of this game as if it was the first game of the season. 
And the first game of the season, the first game of the playoffs.